Hi, I'm Bob Shrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Brad, what are we going to talk about today? Well, Bob, as you know, we do product reviews, and this is a product that I've been introduced to, and I was always wondering, is it really does what they claim? Sure. Okay? This is... Uh, they have the benefits that it claims. Right. And we're talking about compression garments for below the knee. So compression garments is you know something that keeps pressure on it to minimize swelling and sure. increase circulation. This product that we're gonna look at is the Smooth Toe Sock, and that's sure. the name of the sock, Smooth Toe. And uh, they have graduated compression, and that's, they claim is really important, and that's gonna produce good results. And they claim it's gonna help people for, with diabetic, maternity, uh, plantar fasciitis, neuropathy, um, I call it heavy leg syndrome. It's people that do a lot of work and on concrete. They're walking their feet all day. All day long. Yep. At the end of the day, their legs feel real heavy, and they just need to get home and put their legs up just to make them feel better. Can I mention too also? You bet. Go on. Um, the athlete, which I did try these by the way for yep. running, and uh, had some good success with it. But also if for travel, which sure. a lot of people may or may not be aware of is that when you're traveling on planes you got a higher incidence of blood clots sure because you're 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 sitting for such a long period of time right. especially so overseas especially if you're prone too towards it you bet now i'm a skeptic and when i first heard about these things i thought eh, you know do they really do what they're supposed to do so I, again i took a pair home and I wore them. They are definitely comfortable. They're very comfortable. And I did the same. And this, in the toe, there's no seams, and that's why they call them smooth toe. And if you're diabetic, you cannot have those seams. Right. It's going to cause a problem. It'll cause skin to break down. You bet. You can. But I don't have any symptoms, Bob. Well, can you just mention so, wait, 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 what, what, gradu what graduated is? Oh, I'm going to get to that. Bob. Oh, you are. Great. Thank <laughs> God. I don't have any symptoms, so it's like they feel good, but really, do they do what they right. are supposed to do? And getting to the point of the graduated part, on these particular socks, the typical socks have 20 millimeters of mercury. You don't have to worry about the technical part, but there's more compression here, and then up here it's 15. Right. And why is that important? Is you want the pressure more distal or towards the feet, so it pressures or it compresses the fluid slightly and pushes it upward, so it gets back up into the system where you need. Right. When you got swelling, lymphedema, or whatever, whatever you have in your foot. It doesn't go out your toe. I mean, that's, I mean, if you want to get rid of that swelling, it's got to go back up into right. the lymphatic system. So what he's saying is more pressure in the foot, less as you go up, and it gradually it gives that, that motion, basically, right. pushing it back into the system. And if you have a product that's not graduated, in other words, isn't tighter around the foot than in the ankle, it's, it's going to be tighter around here because the girth of your calf, the calf is bigger. So the graduated port, portion really makes sense to me. So, but I still was not convinced. So what I did, right. I have a patient that has, he's 52 year old male and he has this um, heavy leg syndrome that I call it. He works all day on concrete, he's sweeping floors, he gets home at night and he, he literally has to get his feet up. He made an appointment with a doctor with a circulation, um, the doctor for circulation. that bad. Yep. Yeah. And I said, let's try these out. So he wore them for a week straight and he said, when he got home, if he wore them all day long, they stayed up because he wore other products. They did not stay up. They would sure. they'd fall down. He didn't like that. These do stay up. And he said 75% improvement. Wow. Yeah. So I was That's like, nice. Yeah. Then I have another person, plantar fasciitis. Now, this one was hard for me to buy. Yeah. She wore them for a week. She liked the sock. They felt good. She said 20% 20, 20 improvement with the plantar fasciitis. So there was some improvement there. She liked the sock. She's interested in them. I'm not I'm a, not as big a believer on that. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't make sense to me from right. an anatomical standpoint. This is another. I got an 80 year old lady that I've been working with, foot pain all the time, and it's just tingly feeling. So and diabetic she had, maybe type thing. Neuropathy, and she would walk, and she'd be limited her walking distance. She's only walking 20 to 30 feet. Complain of foot pain all the time. So we start having her wear these. This is in a nursing home, so we got to work with her uh, in a controlled area all the time. Same place we're walking, same everything. We put these on. Now she's walking up to 100 feet. She doesn't okay. complain about foot pain anymore. She complains about her knees and her hips hurting. Interesting. But nothing down here. So I said, Very like, interesting. Yeah. So I, I'm feeling pretty good about it. And then another thing, a woman came in. She's completely non weight bearing. She's not ambulatory. She doesn't walk. She's in a wheelchair. And I was checking her out for some other um, issues. And she had a pair of these on. And I said, You got smooth toe socks on? He says, Yeah, we. 
just tried these out about a year ago because they heard about it from somewhere. And they took the head hose off and they put these on and she's much more comfortable. Yeah, head hose for people who don't know what those are, they, they're, I think, just straight compression all the way through, I, aren't they? I think so. The one thing I notice about them, and we use head stockings a lot mm -hmm. in the nursing homes, is that whenever you have them right around here, when you pull it down, there's a ring mark mm -hmm. right here where it's been pressing too hard. Right. And, it's, it, and it is, it's stopping the fluid from going into the body, basically. Sure, sure. It's, they, they help, but they also hurt to some extent. Right. Um, so. And the other thing, well, why just go with my little studies? Why don't we go with something professional and see if there's any studies? So I did uh, found in 2009 the Journal of Strength Conditioning Research did a uh, official study on it, and they did this with long distance runners. They had people wear these, and they they weren't actually wearing smooth toe, but they were wearing graduated compression stockings, so they had a compressive garment on while they were running up to the knee. Sure. And the study shows because of the compression on there, they increased a significant time on the run. Now we're talking marathon runners longer distance. Sure. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what the percentage was, but it was significant. And if you know studies, when they say significant, I mean, it, 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 it means a lot. Right. right. Yeah, they don't. And I took these, by the way, I, I ran in these, Brad. And I, they're very comfortable. I don't know that I ran faster or I had better endurance or anything like that, but there's no rub points. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, there's no, no blisters. I had a friend that run, was trained for a marathon that used these, and, and he said they were great. His only issue is that in the summer, they'd be a little warm. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Mean, yeah. They're, they're not a light sock. I experienced yeah. that too. Um, here's the, they do come in white. There's other colors. If you want something sporty, if you're a runner and you don't want to run with socks up to here, they've got some really nice looking socks. Actually, some professional NFL teams are wearing smooth toe. Oh, no kidding. And they look cool. I don't have any here, but they do look neat. Um, you want to talk about the millimeters of mercury, Brad? Or, or, I mean, I, there's, I think they have two, two types, right? right? And one has to be prescribed, I'm pretty sure. Right, it's a little tighter. Instead of this is 20 at the bottom and 15 up here, that one's 20 at the bottom, or 30 at the bottom and 20 up here. And that's typically for someone who has right, some pretty yeah. serious edema problems. Probably needs to be prescribed. Yeah, you need to see a doctor for that. And I know there's different heights too of, of the sock. They have a the crew cut, which is basically old style. This is a crew, I believe, isn't it? No, the, the crew is down a little bit, I think, Bob. Oh yeah, these are knee high. Yeah. And then crew is probably here, and then they have quarter, and then low cut. Right. So they have all this different sizes. But to get the best circulation benefits, you're probably going to have to go with the high ones right. up to the exactly. top of the knee. So I did a little more research on this, Bob, because they're, they're not real cheap socks, but they offer some good benefits. This is a neat thing about it. Order a pair of these. You can do it online, or you can just call them up, and they'll give you some conversation on, to make sure you get the right sock. For sure. You. And 30-day uh, refund. If you have them for 30 days and you do not like them, put them in a box, mail them back, you'll get your money back. No kidding. Yeah. I mean, well, yeah, you cannot lose on it. And this is the other part. They say that there's a five-year worn guarantee on the bottom surface of the sock where you walk to wear it out. Really? So if it wears out from just natural wear and tear within five years, mail it back, you'll get a new wow. pair. Um, that is just here, you know. I did see one, I heard of one where someone put them on there. You have to put them on carefully. Right. You're not going to pull them up really quick. If you get your fingers in there and you pull real hard because you're in a hurry and you poke your finger through there because you're pulling too hard, sure. that's not going to be covered. Yeah, okay. that's, they got instructions actually on this website. Oh yeah, yeah. On. So, so my father, pick, yeah, my yeah. father has circulation problems. I'm getting him a couple pairs. I'm gonna get my father-in-law, and he's got that tingling, that that pain in his. Yeah, throat. I'll try it. We can maybe get back and let the people know how it worked out. Yeah, I, I'm saying we've got a. Uh, this is a product review. I'm gonna give two thumbs up because you can't yeah. go wrong if you don't like I'll it. I'll get two more. Back. All right. All right. Once again, Thanks. subscribe to us. Forty pe people, forty and over, and. This video is probably so long you probably turned it off yeah, by right. now. <laughs> Take care.